Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu, and this is Corsia Mountain for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part of Blaze's first scenario pack. This is a very cold and small amusement park needs to grow a little bit. Your objective to achieve a park value of at least 75,000 at the end of October year two. Well, that's not a very high goal, and with park goals, park value goals, the bulk of park value is done by getting rides with high stats so let's have a look then clearly a snowy mountain skiing type theme um we've got ski lift let's have a look what the park value is the park value is 66 000, so literally a couple of rides and we'll do that because the more guests that come in that's going to add a little bit as well the more guests that go on rides that's going to add a little bit but the bulk is park value so we've got fifteen thousand pound loan and ten percent interest we're charging for admission so what have we got we've got a bobsled no that's not a bobsled is it that's a flying turns disguised to look like a bobsled but it wasn't fooling me easy way to tell is the fact that the cars are smaller um so we've got the bobsled there decent stats um i just want to be a little mindful because of potentially these can be dangerous yeah i might want to tweak that that end run there make sure it's make sure it's have a good look at that um yeah we can up the speed of these that will make things just a lot quicker obviously and make it a bit more exciting what have we got oh we got a drop tower there you go there's the other bit of that and a ferris wheel up there okay so i think Let's see what rides we've got we've got transport ride we've got some gentle right it's going to be hard to place these um tons of coasters um some good thrill rides water rides and some decent shops i think what we'll do is we'll research roller coasters because what we're going to want yeah all these are fine for normal scenarios but something like this, considering how awkward it is to build on these plates, what we want is we want um, coasters that will that we can do shuttles on, um, and coasters we like that you can do powered launches and things like that on, like a looping coaster or a limb coaster or maybe a booster like a giga coaster or a twister coaster or something like that. You know, something where we can do nice small, compact circuits with decent stats as well um but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through each of the pre-built rides i'm going to um check them over update them if i need to alter parving or whatever if i need to do that um alter any settings and when i'm done what i'll do is i'll change the station building um this one and then i know it's done then i'm also going to look at the end of the flying turns just to make sure it's safe because there's some that see the way that stopped really quickly then that just looks a bit weird so yeah i'm going to do that we'll be back soon july year one let's have a look can we see what we've done hide the land surface let's have a look where is it yeah i've just increased the brake run on that and on the last bend what i've done is i've changed it so that's a helix not a normal bend because these sorts of rides they can't crash on a helix and the the brake run just makes it look a little bit nicer as well um excitement still the same um we've got a, a merry-go-round and flying saucers just there um, we've changed the design of the station so i know they're done i'm happy with them we've put some fences down as well some shops and things like that what have we got we've got park value of 128,000. so we're done we are done even though at the end of the year some of the rides are going to depreciate in value so we are going to lose a bit of that value 
they're not going to lose that much that we're going to only get 75,000. So that's fine. We have got the entrance fee up to 40. That's my preferred rate for something like this. The guests, they got tons of cash. We're going to get issues with overcrowding, but um, I'm sure that they're going to complain about it now. But no. Well, at some point we are, especially when it rains. But um, yeah, it doesn't really matter on this because when we don't care about guests and rating, we only really care about the park value. So we've got a cut back design here with the lay down coaster. Good stats on that. So it, it does, even though I haven't got a launch mode, it does three circuits and it'll make its way around. We've got the chairlifts up to nine miles per hour as well and we've turned off the minimum waiting time and the maximum waiting time so the cars even if there's no one waiting it'll just go out empty no delays um what have we got what have we got let's turn off scenery so we can see things we've got the the rotor drop there um and we've got the entrance and exit coming out there as well and then up over here then we've got ferris we, we've already seen that but that's cool so yeah we're just going to carry on building putting things down here there and everywhere i'm not going to go overboard because we've already done the goal we don't need to do too much let's just knock this one off and get on to the next one october year one we've got a corkscrew coaster we've got the bat wing there launches into the bat wing decent stats on that park value two hundred and twenty two thousand. And then just over here, then we've got a simple looping coaster, just goes around the Ferris wheel, a couple of loops. Decent stats on that. So that's Yeti. This one is Blizzard. Um, we are getting issues with um, overcrowding, but it's not too bad at the moment. Charging £60 entry. We can pay some of that loan back as well if we want. Um, yeah, but I don't know how many rides I'm going to continue to add, but it's doing all right. I don't know if I showed you off this. I changed, jazzed up the path in on the, the flying turns. I think it looks really cool. But uh, yeah, just simple, simple scenery, but very effective. I think so anyway. July year two oh look at my park rating it's terrible okay so what was happening was um the amount of guests coming into the park was starting to flatline so the amount of cash that we were making was starting to go down um there you go um oh loads there but so what i've been doing um because we've got so many guests in the park um like i said it doesn't matter how many guests we've got I mean, it matters a little bit because park value does. You get a little boost in park value from the amount of guests and stuff. But we've got a lot of guests there. So what I've been doing every now and then um, is I've just been, whoop, wrong way. Just been trapping some and then and then deleting the paths and then we lose a lot of guests. And then the game then, oh, there you go, this way. Can't see because of all the trees and things. There you go. We connect it back up. There you go. They can go. And then the game, where's the entrance? The game wants to pump more guests in. There you go. Yeah, we've got the red arrow. But see the rating come back? Because what happens is the guests, they don't die. They just get removed from the park. It's as if they've just fast traveled to the exit. So all their negative feelings and thoughts and karma gets wiped, which is why the rating shoots back up like that. And then the guest spawns loads more into the park. So if we run around fast forward, you'll see that the, the park entrance fee, the amount we're getting from the gate, is going to rocket. And yeah, we can just carry on. Um, I'm pretty much done really i think and um, we've only got a couple of months left um park value 156 that's going to go up as we get more guests coming in and more guests going on the rides but, um yeah we're done um i think the mountainous challenge i mean it, 
yeah, it adds to the challenge. But when you've got a guest, when you've got a goal like this, you, there's no real incentive to do the challenge, to, to do the tricky building. October, year two. So we're finally there. We're finally at the end then. Look at all that cash. There you go. Park value, 174,000. So we're going to smash the goal then. We needed 75,000. We're going to beat it by 100,000. Let's get back to the start so we can see them all. And their balloons that they're going to let go. Let's run around fast forward. Um, so what did we do with that? We came in and we just tinkered with some of the existing rides and put down some nice scenery and things like that. And then we added some, some basic rides. Um, I researched roller coasters we were looking for with the tricky building, um, looking for simple coasters that we could do simple designs with like the looping coaster and the corkscrew and the lay down coaster. That's given us a huge boost in park value. And we're coming up to the end. Um, and then when the number of guests in the park got so much that the the money was starting to slow from new guests coming in because the game will only spawn a certain amount of guests. We just made a load of them disappear. So we had loads more new ones. Um, and that helped alleviate some of the overcrowding as well, which doesn't really matter. But, you know, I like I like it when, when the park entrance ticket goes brr. So, yeah, and we've done it. Ooh, awesome sauce. Cool. Yeah, so a bit of a weird one then. Um, not a very high goal. Um, possibly too easy, considering the goal was 75,000 and we started with 66,000. So all we needed to do over the course of two years was add 10,000 to the goal. Yeah. So anyway, this was the mountain. Um, I've been Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>